Almost two weeks ago, Boise City Councilwoman Lisa Sanchez crafted a letter to the parents of the man arrested during a protest at the state capitol. Michael Wallace was arrested and charged with a misdemeanor discharge of a gun in city limits. The police said it was an accident. Councilwoman Sanchez, in her letter, well, she wasn't buying it. Not the accident part, not the part that he was treated just like any other person would be, not the part that Wallace being there with his gun along with a group of others was an okay thing to do. We talked about it last week after she posted that letter to her Facebook page. It included lines like, you and your son won the race lottery, and many black and brown families do not ex enjoy the same experience of just being arrested and then released. And a similar gathering of a group of black or brown youth with guns, quote, are called gangs and treated as such. Inflammatory? Maybe. On social media? Absolutely. And Councilwoman Sanchez has felt the heat. But as, as Boise's first Latina on the city council, judgment, unsolicited or not, is not new to her. However, as she told us today, what strikes her as odd was that her post has gotten more reaction than what led her to write the letter in the first place, that someone fired a weapon at a peaceful protest. It's not an injustice that this young man was able to do what he did down at the state house putting people's lives in danger, not only other people's lives, but his own life in danger, but that nobody said anything. Everybody dismissed it. Oh, it was an accident. Well, I'm sorry, but you don't accidentally leave your home with a ginormous gun, with ammunition chambered, with the safety off, and go downtown threatening people. And I don't feel that this gentleman was exercising his First and Second Amendment rights. What I believe he was doing was exercising his rights as a white man in our culture, uh, where you're always given the benefit of the doubt. That's not what people of color experience in our community. Yes, in Boise, Idaho, we don't experience that. When you wrote this, what reaction were you expecting? To be honest, I don't know. I wasn't actually expecting any sort of reaction. I just needed to say it. And so I guess when I titled that letter to the parents of Michael Wallace, I guess I meant all of us. We are all his parents. And if none of us are going to speak up, what does that say about our parenting? It's not very good. When I hear silence about the fact that this young man felt he could do that in our community, unchallenged, um, nobody willing to take him aside and say, son, what are, you, what are you thinking? Yes, this is your right. But should you do that? Um, and that's, that's my difficulty with this, is that people want to dismiss this and make it sound like it wasn't a big deal. It is a huge deal that this happened. And we're not focused on it. The focus has been shifted to calling you racist. For Correct. Things. And I find that fascinating, too. I shot off my mouth, Brian. Is it really more dangerous, what I said, than somebody going down to our state house with, with their gun uh, ready to ready to hurt somebody. He did not have the safety engaged. I just don't think uh, me calling that out is more dangerous or harmful than someone going downtown and putting people's lives in danger. You said it was hyperbole that this, this letter or this post, you said it was mostly hyperbole. I mean, is there still a lot of truth in it? Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I, I feel the fact that so much attention has been brought to it is not just because it was hyperbolic. I think it's because it's true and it's hard to hear the truth. It's unfortunate that what I said is construed as an attack against our police department. That wasn't my intention at all um, because our police department reflects our community. You mentioned the, the hyperbole and such, but the last line, what you said was, love Lisa Sanchez, brown woman who chose not to have children for fear of their abuse and murder by white people. I stand by that. Right now, we're all paying attention to these instances of police brutality where black people have been killed seemingly for no good reason. Well, the reality is that people of color living in this country, uh, we're not always killed like that. Uh, we are killed slowly, systematically, um, and the result is the same. So no I regrets. Have to. No, no. you know what I regret? I regret that we all have to feel pain as we grow, but but we have to. Right. This is painful work and make no mistake. There's no one that feels the pain more than me because I know I have to do something that 
is going to put me in a situation where people are going to call me horrible names. And I, I wish I could say that it doesn't hurt. It, it hurts very, very much because these are my brothers and sisters. Councilwoman Sanchez has never been shy about speaking to her experiences as a, as a minority in Idaho. So for those who know her, they know this letter didn't come out of left field. She also didn't get elected to city council on a wave of minority votes. And that win, Councilwoman Sanchez says, shows Boise has potential when it comes to accepting diversity. And she believes her community can handle her speaking truth.